it's reason that we don't seek to connect areas that are already connected. Therefore, the suggestion to build bridges of trust towards peaceful elections in Ghana suggests a sharp mistrust and disconnect that exists among various actors of Ghana's electoral processes. Knowing how elections in some West African countries have flashed such nations into state of turmoil, with Ghana having a somewhat untainted electoral record, it is only safe to ensure that solid bridges of trust are built among all stakeholders to foster peaceful elections. In doing this, a major stakeholder like the media, especially the traditional ones, cannot be left out. This stems from the fact that apart from the Electoral Commission, which is mandated to conduct elections in Ghana, the media appears to be the only singular entity that acts as a pivot around which all other stakeholders of elections will vote. The EC itself, political parties, CSOs and even the electorate tend to use the media in one way or the other to make their voices heard and matters affecting elections. The ripple effect of this is that, should we get a responsible and unbiased media, more than half of election-related misunderstandings that can throw country into confusion will never thrive. This is so because the media has a unique role of giving adequate, true and unbiased education to the populace and can, at the same time, act as a watchdog free of fair and transparent elections. Indeed, should the media engage in anything otherwise, it will be propagating nothing short of unfortunate incidents of genocide as happened in Rwanda in 1994. That's why it is important to have a responsible and vibrant media collaborating with all other stakeholders of elections in Ghana.